welcome to IT Security Guru, I'm Dan Raywood. Now today it's the 1st of December, open your advent calendars because it's Cyber Monday that in, we cyber all the things. And we had Black Friday just a few days ago and Cyber Monday, this is the day when rather than physically destroying shops and the shelves and trying to buy half price TVs, we're doing it online apparently. This is the day when everybody goes online because it's a what, a three and a bit weeks till Christmas, so everyone's going to buy online because they'll see Shopping services can't deliver more than three weeks in advance. We'll hear those stories soon, I'm sure. Now, according to a recent survey by the National Retail Federation, 56% of holiday shoppers will do some of their shopping on the internet this year. Probably not a surprise, I imagine most people are probably shopping. In fact, most people are pretty prepared and, um, hey, I did mine already a couple of weeks ago. I've actually bought online. You get ahead of the curve, you go and buy when you want, you identify when you want, and you go and do it online. It's much, much easier, you've got a bigger choice does come down to a, probably about a handful of retailers and how much those retailers are actually experiencing. Uh, on Friday, I was on uh, myself, I was on websites, Tesco's website, and really wasn't loading very well this morning, just checked it absolutely fine. So maybe kind of lessons are learned from Black Friday to Cyber Monday. Well, that's why they call it Cyber, I guess. Now, yeah, impact, of course, upon consumers. The uh, big problem uh, is for retailers trying to keep themselves online and keep their systems up to date and their websites up and running, make sure everyone's actually able to buy all those things, otherwise they go somewhere else and do it. But for consumers, how safe is it? It's uh, probably a big fishing day as well as a big shopping day because you can go out and say, hey, here's special deals from insert name of retailer, and it works, well, then you've got pretty captive market out there prepared to click on these to find that better deal. Um, some research by Tripwire found that 25% of respondents to a survey it did believe that links contained in its subscription emails and new newsletters are safe. 75% do not. It's quite telling. 23% believe links sent from trusted associates are played to click. Well, is that actually a 77% or not? It's very tricky. Maybe some do, maybe some don't, maybe they just don't really care about it. We had some comments in this morning. Uh, Fujitsu, they will increase volumes of transaction data, and uh, which would provide a perfect opportunity for hackers to go unnoticed. So, you know, it's a bit like a DDoS attack. You know, you, you, you pile all the traffic in, you go in, you snatch and grab. It's the way things are being done, apparently, in some cases. And it's unsupported by research from Fujitsu. Really, less than 10% of consumers believe businesses are doing enough to ensure their data is protected because they're probably too busy trying to keep their websites online in days like this. So it's very dangerous time. In fact, we've probably got about what, three weeks of this coming up. So retailers, if you're not ready, it's best to do it now. Now, yeah, speaking of fear factor, well, of course, things are looking at smoothly and anonymous. The uh, activist group we've covered quite uh, prominently recently, they have said they're going to try and disrupt Simon Monday. Now, of course, they're going to be time zones behind because they're looking at Ferguson, uh, Missouri. As part of its Op Ferguson activities, it's calling for a boycott of Cyber Monday. Uh, the move was backed by activists on the ground in Ferguson. Um, I'm not sure how many businesses are actually based in Ferguson, but uh, maybe the retailers there are going to feel the, the pinch from this, this action by anonymous. But um, as I said, you know, retailers, you've had 12 months to be ready. You know exactly what's coming, when the big dates are, and hopefully things are going to work today. And um, if not, then you've got to just cyber all the things. So, Friday's good here. I'm down there.